Hi guys. I've been here in Haiphong, the city that where I'm actually living for almost a month now. And I'm way behind on videos. And I know that a lot of you really wanna hear about my actual life here where I'm settled in Haiphong. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to interrupt this programming and I'm gonna skip ahead now and sh show you some of my life here in Haiphong and then hopefully get back to uploading the rest of the videos from still from like before today. Okay, so today I went to the big supermarket because I decided I'm just gonna start eating at home um, and cooking a little bit since I'm having such trouble finding food I like here, as I've said. Um, so I was, this, the big supermarket is in the mall, which is about a 15 minute walk from here. I was trying to figure out how I would get the groceries home. I thought mm, if they weren't too much, I would try to carry them or I would try to get a car. And then knowing that I might not be able to get a car again, I was wondering if I'd be able to take them on a grab bike. But when I got to the checkout counter at the supermarket, there was a sign that said free delivery. So I gave the guy my address and phone number and sure enough, an hour and a half later, they delivered them. Here they are. So, and let me tell you what I found that I'm so excited about. <laughs> um, oh, also side note, the, uh, the guy who delivered them on the bike was the same guy who rang me out at the checkout, the cashier. So here is what I found that I'm excited about is peanut butter. They have a lot of peanut butter everywhere, but it's all like, you know, like Jif or Skippy, which has hydrogenated oils in it. So I hadn't found any natural peanut butter, but here it is. I found it. Uh, it was expensive. It was like $8 for this jar of peanut butter, but it'll last me a long time. And uh, I cannot wait to rip this open and make myself some peanut butter toast. Okay, I think a lot of you want to see my apartment. So today's the day. I'm going to give you a tour of my apartment. Uh, first, I just want to tell you, I actually rented my apartment on booking.com in the U.S. before I left. So I found a place on there that was walking distance to my language center where I'm gonna be working. And I just booked in for one month thinking, I'll go there, I'll try it for a month. If I don't like it, I'll find something else. Well, I got here and I just couldn't believe my luck because it's just perfect. I absolutely love my apartment. And then I also didn't know if they'd let me stay long-term. Well, they're happy to have me stay long-term. And the best part is if I had to find a new place, um, to get like a real apartment, you have to sign a lease and they all want you to sign like a one-year lease and I'm not going to be here for a year. So I needed a place that would let me go month to month and they, they agreed to do that and I can stay until the end of my stay, like which is another five months. Okay, so uh, I'll start by showing you outside the apartment because quiet street with these kind of fancy buildings. There's a few blocks of these fancy new apartments here. And um, it's quiet, but right down here, just steps away, you see that street is the real Vietnam, quote unquote. And right down there is a huge street with the real Vietnam, and there's actually a big market. code here and I can get in that way. Okay, so this is the lobby. When you enter and there's sometimes somebody sitting at that desk. I don't know exactly when and why. 
and I'm on the fifth floor and there's an elevator. I sometimes walk up for the exercise. I always walk down. The goal has been when I get back from a run to run up the five flights of stairs. Well, that has happened exactly two times. Okay, so here we are. This is the entrance to my apartment. And again, um, I don't need to carry the fob because I can just put in my personal code and the door unlocks. So it's, it's a small studio. You come in here, there's um, shelves for your shoes, because of course in Vietnam, like in most countries in the world, people take their shoes off when they enter. And they supplied me with two of these house slippers, two pairs of these house slippers, which I wear when I come in. I take off my shoes. Okay, window there. There's my little sofa. That's where I hang my laundry. This is my desk where I do my work. I don't love the fact that there's a mirror right here facing me when I work. That's a little bit distracting, but it's kind of, I don't know how it is installed on the wall, but I didn't want to mess with it. Bed, lots of closet space, plenty of closet space for the stuff I bought and drawers. The stuff I brought, I mean, and um, side note, I don't know if you remember when I showed you my luggage in the first video, I brought way too much stuff. I'm so mad at myself for bringing so much stuff. Um, I mean, I brought three suitcases and I should have brought just like one. The one big suitcase would have been enough. And now I have to deal with getting all that stuff home, but whatever. Okay, here's a TV. When you turn it on, it has Netflix and Amazon Prime. You can sign in. I haven't done that yet because I just like to watch on my laptop or my iPad. I'm happy with that. Um, well, actually, the real reason is uh, the TV is a little bit too far from the bed. It's not that big of a TV. And like when I'm sitting here in bed, that screen is a little bit too far for me with my um, preferred vision range. So I use my iPad or my laptop so I can put it right up in my face. Okay, here's my little kitchen, which as you know, I just bought a bunch of groceries yesterday. So I'm gonna st start some cooking. These are the pots and pans they gave me, um, frying pan. I bought this toaster. I wanted to have a toaster and it's a piece of junk toaster, but it works well enough and I'm excited to have toast. And as you know, I bought peanut butter. So I gobbled down two pieces of peanut butter toast yesterday, sink. These are the dishes they gave me in my little dish cabinet here. Pretty big size refrigerator. Microwave, which I believe may double as like a convection oven. I'm trying to figure that out um, because it came with this tray in the microwave. So I assume that that's also convection because you can't use that with microwave. You gotta look into that. Um, there's some bananas that I bought in the market. I think I told you I love these little bananas. They're a little bit tastier. They have more flavor than the big ones. But the main thing is a banana is always too much for me to eat a whole one. And I know it's really frustrating for my family. They hate it, but I'll eat like half a banana and then I'll leave the rest like on the counter or in the fridge. And of course the skin gets all brown and everything and it's gross. Um, so I love the fact that these little bananas, I can easily eat one all at once. Okay, here's the bathroom. Nice sink. Shower with two nice shower heads pretty nice shower and the pièce de résistance that I love, this Japanese toilet. I am really enjoying the Japanese toilet. You see here it has seat warmer, bidet functions. I'm loving that. Okay, so outside the bathroom here is this switch. 
And if you're going to take a shower, you need to turn the hot water heater on for about 20 minutes before you're going to shower. So my first week here in Haiphong, they put me up in a hotel and it was the same situation in the hotel and I didn't know that, nobody told me. So I ended up taking cold showers till I finally figured it out on like day five. Now, the second great thing about this apartment is the balcony. I got this huge balcony just because I'm on the edge of the building. Most floors have three units on them. This floor only has two units on it. So this unit got this huge balcony. It goes all the way around here. And if I want to hang my stuff outside, the cleaners use this area here. But if I want to hang my stuff outside, I can hang it out here. I tried it once, but you have to climb up that ladder. It's a little awkward. Um, so I'll just probably hang my laundry up inside. And this is the view from my balcony. Notice how everything is under construction. A lot of construction everywhere. This is the view from this wraparound balcony. But I don't even do my laundry because this apartment comes with cleaning three times a week. They come in and clean three times a week and do your laundry. Week, which obviously I don't need laundry done three times a week, and they will actually hang my laundry up here inside my... Over there where I showed you. Um, but again, that's also why I brought way too much stuff. I can have my laundry done three times a week, so... I mean, I basically could have managed with like I don't know, two or three shirts and two or three pairs of pants because I can just wash them all the time. So that is my apartment. Um, I am excited to start cooking because as you know, I've had trouble with the food out there. And uh, the other thing is, I um, one thing I'm really missing here is um, I eat a lot of pastries at home. Um, I'm just a big carb person. I eat a lot of carbs and especially pastries. Like um, I love to bake, I bake a lot. So if either my own chocolate chip cookies that I've baked or I'll go out to the local bakery and get my pan au chocolat on the weekend, whatever. I eat a lot of pastries and um, I guess it harkens back to my days when I was a long distance runner, even though now I'm just a jogger. My diet hasn't quite figured out the, ch the difference yet hasn't caught up. So I still eat a lot of carbs and pastries. I mean, I could never go no carb. That's like, I'd have to slip my wrists after eight hours without carbs. But anyway, I haven't found any satisfying like pastries here at all. I just don't like any of the pastries I've tried. If you can even call them pastries, and they put like pork floss on a lot of them. <laughs> I don't know. So I really wanna try to bake something because I really miss baking and eating um, pastries. So I looked up a recipe for how to bake a cake in a rice cooker. Because as I showed you here, I have a rice cooker in my kitchen. It came with the kitchen. So I'm gonna try baking a little cake in my rice cooker and I'll let you know how that goes. <laughs> 